Hello everyone, I am Lewis, you are watching Lost in Travel and welcome on here to an exciting day in Edinburgh. It's been a while since I've took you to Edinburgh, I think the last time was probably about winter but I've got some exciting things planned today, we're going up hills, lots and lots of hills. Starting with our first seat and then the big one we're going to go to is Edinburgh Castle but our first seat is the one of the most famous hills here in Scotland. It's not even a hill, it's actually an extinct volcano, but it always makes for a good climb. Let's do this, smash the like button if you're going to join today's video guys, and subscribe to stay tuned to everything I bring out with my windy windy hair here in Edinburgh. Let's go. The view to Edinburgh is already looking splendid and we're only at the beginning of our first seat trek. So it's been a while guys since I took you to Edinburgh. Um, it's been a while since I've been up our first seat, but I always love it, it's always a fun trek to do. We're going to go right to the top, and maybe even potentially we might be able to see the otters that stay in the pond. I've never seen them before, never even seen wild otters before. But if I get to see them today, it'll be a big, massive thumbs up. Alright, let's make ourselves- oh, I almost tripped, you've got to be careful on our first seat, it's quite a trek. The views up going up here are absolutely astounding. This is the great thing about our first seat, you just get amazing panoramic views of the whole of Edinburgh. And I think this bit is a bit underappreciated. Not a lot of people are coming up this side of our first seat, but I have to say, you get incredible views of the Paintlands, of the water over there, of Berwick over there. Incredible. I love my own country, as you can see. And the weather's picking up. Look at that. Who needs to go to Oxford to get good weather? I was a stranger in the crowd. My mum, I think I've seen an otter. This is this is the place where you find them. Oh no, I think it might just be a rock indeed. Oh, I thought it was an otter. I really did. I have to say, leather was always provides the goods. Look at that cherry slice. Mm -mm -mm. This trek always tires the heck out of me. But. I never leave this place without getting to the top, at least every single time I get up here. Oh, it's just amazing having a volcano, an extinct volcano in the middle of your city. We just needed the infrastructure, we would be able to suit that, and the Castle Rock, which is another volcano, two volcanoes, and Scotland, and one of Scotland's biggest cities. Oh, wind swept here. Getting right in there. It is incredibly windy up here, but once the wind finally settles, you can actually hear the bagpipes down at Princess Street. That's how loud the National Instrument of Scotland is. Music to my ears. <laughs> Not the wind. Look at my hair. <laughs> so I fully believe that our first seat has its own like wind current. Like the winds are like completely unpredictable here at our first seat and I think very different to the rest of Edinburgh. But we're finally going to be leaving our first seat. We never made it to the peak unfortunately because we've got a time we've got to be at the Edinburgh Castle for because you know during Covid you have to book and stuff like that. So we're now going to head to Edinburgh Castle so I guess I will see you all there. I've just had a caramel donut. It was very very tasty and you missed me fall as well. I, I slid on my bit coming down this hill but anyways without further ado let's get ourselves to Edinburgh Castle. So we're just here at Edinburgh Castle. I'm walking backwards so you can see it behind me. A lot busier than when I came here last year, that is for sure. Anyways, I've got tickets to go in, we've got our historic school membership, so let's get in there and see if anything's changed during the COVID times. It's one of my favourite places in the whole of Edinburgh. Thought I could find my way back home 
Castle is incredible, but there's one thing that kind of puts me off the view. I wonder what is the St. James's St. or squidgy poop looking hill or skelter thing. I do not understand, but apart from that, Edinburgh's got one of the best views, and this is the best place to see it. Oh, there's a bee! <laughs> so that's where the soldier stands and lets off the cannon at 1 pm every single day. It always gives me a fright. Alright, interesting fact of the day, Edinburgh Castle is actually the most besieged castle in history. I'm sure it's been taken over and had battles over about 23 different times. That means this castle's got a lot of worth. There's the queue of people to get into that building over there which has stolen the crown jewels. Ooh. So the oldest building here is St. Margaret's Chapel, which King David I built for his mother, Queen Margaret. And it is said to have been built in 1130. So that's a very, very, very old chapel. And even after all the siege that's happened here, it is still standing tall today. How incredible and coincidental is that? It must be fate. Anyways, I love Edinburgh Castle, definitely come out here and remember if you are coming during the pandemic, mm. if you are coming during the pandemic, you've got to book. But anyways, let's head somewhere else. Alright, before we continue on to one more hill that we're going to today, I'm going to send you back to yesterday, where I went up another one of Edinburgh's most notable hills. Let's take you there. So this is Lewis from a day ago. I'm deciding to do this walk before I do the main vlog just because there's a lot of hills here in Edinburgh and I can't get to them all or my feet would be really, really knackered. So I'm here at Corstorphin Hill today and we're going to go see um, what we could see. This is right beside the zoo, so maybe we might be able to see some animals. They've got giraffes now, by the way. So that would be very, very exciting if I can get my eyes on some giraffes without even having to go to the zoo. I guess there's only one way to find out. But anyways, Christophe and I was a really nice walk, let's take you, and hopefully the weather stays nice to us. So I've got some unfortunate news, we can't see the giraffes, I think they're just over in that direction but they're too far away for us to see them, that's because of the big attraction now, Edinburgh Zoo have just got giraffes for the first time in like years, so I guess I'll see them whenever I go, I've actually got a membership for the zoo now, you must think I've got memberships for everything, <laughs> that's because I've got nothing else to spend my time with, but I will be seeing the giraffes another day, but it would be nice if we could all have a little wave at them and or, or the zebras, or the pandas, or any animal. But anyway, let's just continue with our walk because Christophan Hill is a nice place even without being able to see the animals right there. So right now I'm looking at Christophan Hill viewpoint and honestly, this may be one of the most underrated views of Edinburgh. I'm getting an amazing view of the golf course, of the Edinburgh city, of Arthur Sea over there. It is looking perfect. So right behind me is Corstorphin Tower, one of the coolest things to find on Corstorphin Hill. This tower was built in the 1800s, 100 years after Sir Walter Scott's death and it is put there as a memorial for Sir Walter Scott. Of course he's got lots of memorials around the city, the most famous one is the Scott Monument. I don't really know why this one's been put here, maybe he enjoyed coming up here or something like that. but. It does look really nice to come and visit if you're ever in Edinburgh and you ever want to find some walks to do. Christophan Hill is a great place and then seeing this tower is definitely a sight to behold if you ever do decide to take the climb up this hill. What does that do? <laughs> I can't remember how I've done this. <laughs> Okay, I am not Tarzan, definitely not by any imagination. <sighs> so welcome on back here to this glorious Saturday. So you've just seen what I got up to yesterday, Christopher Hall was really, really sweet. 
but the weather is a lot better today. It's actually a lot more summery here. Not as summery as when I was in Oxford, but right now it's probably about 18 degrees and we've got one more hill we're going to. So let's get to Blackford Hill. So the best thing about Edinburgh is that it's so easy to just get away from the crowds. Like I just saw earlier on when we were at Edinburgh Castle, the main city is totally packed. But right now, it's literally just me and my mum. How incredible is that? And that is a rather cool build in there. It's very castle-like. So, you know, it's definitely one of my favourites. And apparently it is the Hermitage House. Rather nice house, I have to say. <sighs> oh, mum, you've knackered me out. OMG, guys. The views from here are breathtaking. I see the whole panoramic view of Edinburgh. This place is an incredible place to go if you are into hill walking and you're into landscapes and scenic views. This is definitely the best place. I can see over to the Pentlands, the Braids, Edinburgh. It is amazing. I think even my uni is over there. So there you go. This place has it all. Anyways, I think I'm going to wrap up today's video just sitting here, just relaxing, chilling, looking at this view. I think I'm going to go for some chippy chips because I am hungry. But anyways, I'll catch you all with the next video, guys. Please like if you did enjoy today and subscribe if you want to see what the next video from me is going to be. And anyways, I'll catch you all next time. Peace. Bye-bye. Why can't we be friends? so much easier before we got our feelings hurt and i can't pretend that it's easy why